Now, if you haven't left the house today, you might be looking for a bit of inspiration. You're like, I don't know how to dress for this weather, and I don't know what to put together. And if you're like me, you're like, ah, it's not just too complicated. Luckily for us today, I am sitting down with a young lady who has a passion for fashion, and she is into styling. Those of you who have no idea what to do, I. I, I don't know if she'll be up for some of these challenges, but her name is Panache. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? I'm good. Um, so you you like dressing up? You like you like putting stuff together and? Yes. Yes. Really? Yes. It feels like a lot of work. It isn't if you. <laughs> you have to think that there's like, <laughs> is it? Isn't it? Um, <laughs> it isn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. But, is it something that you just you just always naturally been able to do, or did you have to figure out as you as you got um, more aware of your choices what works and what doesn't for you first of all? Uh, it has been. I've always enjoyed playing different characters when I was a child, mm. but then my mom is a Play, fashion, wait playing different characters how as in. As we were kids with my cousins, we would play... Okay, so you need to give us this context. Like, mm, wait by yourself as you're playing these directly. No, no, no. Okay. Um, I grew up with my cousins a lot coming to my house because I'm an only child. Mm. They'd come over and we'd play different characters. So from then, I would enjoy being a different character. Mm. So I realized that you can um, become a different character through your clothes. Mm -hmm. So over the years, I enjoyed wearing clothes and then my mom's also a fashion designer oh. so I would see her doing like her fashion designing and mm. and she dresses also like in an eccentric way so mm. I would also aspire to do that mm. so yeah you would say that I have always been able to I've been a bit distracted <laughs> as you were talking your earrings are amazing thank you thank did you, you make those yes they are part of my uh, Yuga um, collection brand. Uh -huh. I make jewelry out of almost anything. So like um, food can or Coke can opener or like anything I find from my mom's jewelry box or anything like that. You are fascinating. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, so as you're playing um, around with all these different characters and you're learning to translate this to the way that you dress and everything, do you go through like the typical phases where somebody will be just like, I ah, know I'm a tomboy or no, I'm so girly girly. Like, did you go through those typical phases? Uh, no, maybe character wise, but not the way I dress. Mm. But like dressing wise, I've always been all over the place. You wouldn't like pinpoint and say tomboy. Or, really? Yes. Are you easy to shop for then? No. <laughs> no. Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah. I didn't think so. But I think it would be an interesting challenge for somebody who liked, who enjoys shopping and dressing people up. Mm -hmm. um, and you enjoy doing this. So do you? How do you go about styling people? So um, my brand, you know, Musa and uh is a styling brand that offers different services under styling. So mm -hmm. one of them is I can shop for you. Mm -hmm. So I do shopping or anything to do with styling based on someone's character. So you, I ask you a few questions, um, including um, movies you like to watch, music you like to listen to, and just your personal everyday questions. Mm. Because music and um, movies show me the aesthetic that like catches your eye mm -hmm, or your mind. Mm -hmm. So then from then, I can then discover what type of person you're into and what colors go with you mm. or what you enjoy so it's easy from that category for me to be able to dress you up have you like had to deal with difficult people not of late not yet not yet not yet okay we're hoping no difficult people come your way fingers crossed thank you because then you bump into somebody who you you are right in the styling mm -hmm. but because they're stuck in a mental space that has them seeing themselves in a different way altogether they don't quite understand how some of the the clothing relates to who they are and how it sits on them um but if you were to then come across that let's say for example hypothetically you try to style me and then i'm stubborn um what are some of the tools that you have in your little bag of tricks that you think would help you um, paint a broader picture for me to understand what it is that you're doing for me? I would have to meet 
with you in person, just mm. have a conversation with you, mm. asking these questions like, oh, so what did you used to like to watch when you were a child? Mm. Because usually when you were a child, your imagination is, you're still yourself. Yeah. So if I hear from your childhood, then I'm like, okay, I can do I know you. how to handle you. Yeah. Ah, okay, that's very fascinating. Um, is there a market for it? Are we like, are we, are we open to this? To, to just being styled and have someone shop for us and dress us and are we, are we open to this? Uh, not yet, which is why I would love to teach styling in the future. Mm. Where some people don't understand the art, they think it's a, it's like what numuna no figures So it's yeah. like they don't understand that I have to think a lot. It mm. has a lot of thinking into it, mm. and so. But I'm hoping it becomes better because mm. Zimbabweans are not as receiving to creatives as much compared to other countries. But they are slowly coming in. Mm. And yeah. Mm. Oh man. Thank you for coming through. We do wish you the best. Um, and look, if, if you are one of those, do you, do you like putting together capsules for people? Like if somebody needs like a, a wardrobe capsule, of, you know, that gives them an idea of what they should be, what they should be wearing, how they should be pairing things together. Do you do that? Yes, the, it is a lot of work. I did that for my aunt uh, last year. Mm. No, it's this year where I had to be in a whole like wardrobe and mm. makeup outfits for yeah. her every day. Yeah. It's a lot of work, but I can do that. But yeah. then it's, expensive ah, of course it has to be it's hard work yes. and then you you have to figure things out in people and you're like ah, this doesn't why do you have this in here and you have to go through emotions mm -hmm. um <laughs> where do we find you if you want to follow your work or even if you want to engage your services uh you can follow my page inomu saingosi mm -hmm. um and panache inomu saingosi which is my personal page you mm. can have me you can hit me up any of those platforms or my Gmail account, which is nomusama48 at gmail.com. Oh, thank you so much for sitting down with us this morning, Panache. We do wish you all the best. And hey, now you know if you are stuck or you just need ideas, inspiration, you know who to talk to. Get in touch with Panache. Konapo, konapo, ipapwe papo, Bazetian Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.